What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm going to be showing you the top five cards in Bloons Card Storm that I think either need to be buffed or nerfed. And let's just get right into it. Starting with number five is going to be Super Monkey. Now, this is a very expensive card at eight gold. Uh, it does 180 damage, but the huge drawback, uh, of course, of this card is the fact it has a four reload time. So when you play Super Monkey, you're basically going to be able to do an immediate 180 damage, and you're not really going to be able to use it much for the rest of the game. Maybe if the game goes four more turns, you can actually activate your Super Monkey one more time. Other, you know, having, being able to activate this two more times is almost impossible. Games typically are not going to last that long. Uh, this game, this card is severely underpowered, especially when you compare it to other expensive monkeys of a similar uh, cost, like we have over here, the Sharpshooter, which costs one more. This is going to be doing 80 plus 40 plus 40. So it's going to be doing 160 damage instead of 180, but it is actually going to be doing way more damage because it only has a reload time of two. So it's going to be doing 160 damage every two turns, so it's doing like 80 damage per turn, while Super Monkey is doing 180 damage every four turns. That's going to come out to a very sad 45 damage per turn. Also, Super Monkey is a lot worse because of its long reload time. The opponent is able to take advantage of that, and start developing, you know, mid-range two or three turn balloons and know that really the Super Monkey is not going to be able to do anything about them. As opposed to Sharpshooter, if they put even a two turn balloon uh, on the board while Sharpshooter is reloading, Sharpshooter will be able to, um, to defend against it. So how would I change Super Monkey? Um, you, you know, the obvious way would be to decrease the reload time. Uh, and that way it'll actually sort of come in line a little bit more sharpshooter, make it a two or three reload time, maybe a little bit less damage. Um, I really don't think there's a need to have Super Monkey and Sharpshooter both basically do the same thing of being expensive monkeys with high attack um, that, you know, have like a shorter reload time. What I would really like to see happen with Super Monkey is to stick with the idea that Ninja Kiwi had of making this this mega powerful card, but having this enormous reload time, basically have it a be a bailout in case of emergency that, you know, if the game happens to take a long time, you will be able to use it again. I could see Super Monkey's attack going at eight costs all the way up to even a hundred. Uh, and that way, you know, if you do the math, it'll be doing three shots of a hundred, which will be uh, 300. If you divide that by four turns, that only averages out as 75 damage per turn, as opposed to Sharpshooter, that's doing an average of 80 per turn, plus the fact that Super Monkey takes a really long time to reload, that you can take advantage of it. I think that would actually be okay as an eight cost card. It would not be overpowered. Uh, I could even see Super Monkey being a little bit cheaper, maybe being a seven cost, having three shots of 90 damage, uh, and then a four reload speed. I think that even a little bit cheaper would be good, since again, it doesn't really reload i think having this being played a little bit earlier in games and being able to play it in tandem with a different card since it's sort of an emergency removal card rather than a real development of long-term defense uh so i think either eight cost 100 damage three shots with four reload or again seven cost uh 90 damage would be just about right for super monkey all right, we're moving on to the next one at number four. It's going to be Black Bloom. Now, this has a very interesting keyword, On Destroy Draw card, and I did some testing. On Destroy means it has to be when it's popped by the opponent uh, or yourself, and it's actually damaged either by a monkey or a spell. It's a little bit interesting that it says On Destroyed as opposed to Golden Balloon uh, that has a different keyword, On Popped, um, that the they really end up doing the exact same thing what i would really like to see black balloon do is have on destroy be a keyword that works differently that it'll even work when it hits the opponent's face it advances therefore it's removed from the game uh and that will actually draw a card the reason i really think black balloon doesn't have any place in the meta is because it's just way too similar to white balloon white balloon is going to be drawing a card on place so you're going to be guaranteed getting that card draw the difference between 100 and 130 when you're all the way up at five costs, so these are anyway going to be underpowered cards, uh, is very, very minimal. The fact that Black Bloom would need to be removed by, you know, a monkey or a spell just makes it, I think, really, really bad. If On Destroyed would actually activate when it hits your opponent's face, that would actually make Black Balloon... 
uh, viable because again, white balloon has the advantage of giving you that card draw immediately. Black balloon, it takes a little bit longer to draw the card, so you are not able to use that card that turn. It's only when it actually advances. Uh, and in exchange for that, you'll be getting 130 damage instead of 100. I think there could also be a, then a use of Black Balloon. Like if your hand is full, at that point, White Balloon won't draw you a card, but Black Balloon will allow you to uh, develop another card. Uh, like, for example, the second Black Balloon, since it has two uh, charges, uh, you're going to be able to play that the next turn and then draw a card once your Black Balloon goes face at the end of the turn. It just seems like that could end up being a more viable version of this card. Probably at the end of the day though the best plan for black balloon would be to change it to build the entirety because at the end of the day even the way i'm trying to set it up it's still really similar to white balloon and i don't know if it's ever really going to have a place uh in this game all right coming at number three we have crossbow monkey crossbow monkey is just a monkey that is severely severely underpowered it's f cost five and then it does 60 and has a recharge of two so it's basically doing 30 damage average per turn which is just so weak for a five cost card you can compare it to even triple shot that even if this is hitting two blooms uh it's still doing 40 per turn which is more than crossbow monkey and this is coming in at three cost card three cost this could also do the triple shot can do 60 if it's hitting three blooms uh, so I really just don't think the crossbow monkey is strong enough. I would really like this to be cheaper or just a lot stronger. I think the game really does need a nice mid-range five, you know, gold monkey. So, you know, increasing this, having a little bit slow reload time is fine. Uh, but having it increase to, you know, 40, 50 damage, something like that, I think that would really... Uh, have a really smart place uh, in the game uh, for the crossbow monkey. All right, coming in at number two is this card, Quick Ready. This is one of the most oppressive cards in the game. Uh, it was one of the cards in the Quincy Control deck. And Quick Ready will make one of your balloons reduce its timer by one, which means you can simply just put like a ceramic balloon that anyway has a pretty short timer of two, you know, and this is going to be doing half of your opponent's health at 250. The opponent thinks they have an extra turn in order to deal with this, and all of a sudden you quick ready it, uh, and it just goes face. It's, of course, quick ready could also just be used on even bigger balloons like blimps uh, that have a three or four timer. And you're able to use one quick ready or even two to speed up something that's sitting on two, like a big BFB uh, that has a two timer left. If you have two quick readies in your hand, it only costs six gold to play two of these. Uh, I've definitely finished off opponents with combos like that. It's just a really, really impressive card. I love the fact that quick ready is in the game. I think the game needs something like this. I just think it needs to be way more expensive. So I would see uh, quick ready at least costing four, maybe even five. I think even at five, because it's such a powerful finisher and can really result in hundreds of damage going to face pretty easily. Uh, I think that would make Quick Ready much more balanced. It's more expensive. You're investing more, and also it would be a lot harder to play two Quick Readies uh, in the same uh, turn. I guess late in the game, when you're making 10 gold uh, per turn, that would be the time that you'd be able to play uh, two Quick Readies, but not before that. Uh, just a couple of honorable mentions, cards that I think need to be adjusted a little bit. Storm of Arrows seems like it does a lot for a two-cost card. Uh, this is 300 damage, and it's pretty easy to get the full 300 uh, from Storm of Arrows, as long as you don't, like, waste this card early. You know, you can sort of use your other monkeys and your powers in order to pop the smaller balloons, and then... This 150 will definitely hit two random opposing balloons. You know, it'll just be left to be hit the big ones that you've left on the board. Uh, I could just see this being a three-cost card. I think that would definitely help. Another little honorable mention is Sniper Monkey. It's just, again, one of these uh, monkeys that have been added to the game that just seems so severely underpowered at three costs. It's doing 50 and has a reload of two, so it's doing it 25 damage per turn if you're dividing by the reload speed. I mean, just compared to Tax Shooter, which I'll admit is a little bit of an overpowered card, but even if you're doing the active ability of Tax Shooter, this is also doing 25 damage per turn, and it only costs two. And I, I really think, like, Sniper Monkey should either cost two or just do a lot more damage. I could see it doing even 60, you know, 70, something like that. Uh, would make Sniper Monkey more viable. And coming down to number one, the number one card I think that needs to be changed urgently in this game, of course, is the Banana Farm. This is the most oppressive card uh, in the beta. It, a lot of games really just came down to which 
side got more banana farms whoever gets more banana farms wins so this costs only three it fills up a monkey slot and it gives you two gold every single turn so you're going to be making a profit on this on your second turn you're going to be uh, getting a profit and as the game goes by gold in bloons card storm stacks that's actually a really ballsy move by the devs that is very unlike almost any other card game pvz heroes hearthstone your mana and your brains and your sun don't last from turn to turn uh the gold in bcs absolutely does uh stacks from turn to turn so this is just even if you're not able to use your gold one turn it's just going to be there for the next turn and you're going to get an extra two gold that turn too and just be able to take over the game way too strong what would i suggest for banana farm i talked about it uh with the chat in the live stream and we came up with two ideas one is simply having this be a three gold a cost and only giving one gold per turn that would be a pretty significant nerf uh you'd be able to play this card you know sort of just as fast it would take three turns just to break even and then it would be giving you a profit every single turn it just wouldn't have this problem of two gold per turn where as the game goes by and it's turn four five six that you are just slowly not even that slowly very very quickly gaining so much more tempo on your opponent because of how much gold you're gaining the other idea we had is to make this a five cost card that gives you two gold even four cost two gold i think would be too fast five cost two gold seems reasonable so you're not able to develop it as quickly unless you have this insane starting hand uh with a lot of cash drops um but i, I say at like five cost two so you're developing a little bit later it's not giving you that early game momentum uh, in order to make up for its cost quite as fast, you'll break a little bit of a profit after three turns, and then it will sort of give you the momentum to the late game. I could also see this just being two separate cards. Banana Farm being one card that's three gold, and it gives you one, and then Banana Plantation, sort of like an upgrade, uh, would be a five-cost monkey that would be giving you two. I could see that as definitely being viable. Anyway, guys, those were the top cards that I think really need to be changed, uh, buffed, and nerfed in this game. Let me know what cards you think uh, I left out of this list in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.